The Michigan bird brains of Dearborn are not alone in the woods. There are dozens of groups across the country and many individuals who practice birding by ear, identifying species simply by their songs and calls. Those folks, and really all birders, recently got a huge assist from the Macaulay Library at Cornell University. The library is home to the oldest and largest scientific collection of bird and animal sounds in the world, 200,000 audio and video recordings of some 9,000 different species. Over the past 10 years, technicians have digitized the entire collection, converting more than 7,500 hours of old analog audio tapes into crisp digital recordings. And they're available for free online. Director Mike Webster believes the sounds of nature are underappreciated, especially by the sighted world. But an active listener, somebody who's out there actually paying attention to what they're hearing, they're, that's a whole different world, uh, the natural world that's open to them, and they, they can learn things and understand things about what's going on around them. And for um, visually imp impaired people, blind birders and the like, they, frankly, they, they already have one step up on the rest of us who are sighted because they're already active listeners. They know how to use their ears, and, and that world is there for them. I'm very proud of the fact that we can provide audio guides and learning tools for them um, so that they can better enjoy nature, so that they can understand it better. Uh, but for them, we don't need to work on the active listening part. That's what we have to work on with the rest of the world.